Nick is our uh, smoothie lover, right? And um, I actually, here's another, so Tupperware tends to bring out special things throughout the year and you can get them for short periods of time. So if something shows up in a flyer that isn't in a regular catalog and you like it, buy it because I don't know when it's going to come out again. And that's how I got these little guys. These are little tiny little fridge smarts. And what we've done is we've pre-measured our smoothie ingredients so we can just dump it in and, uh, and go. So this is the Power Chef system. It is less than a pound. Um, it, so it's very, very light, very, very easy to use. Right now I have the blades in it because we're gonna be uh, like food processing or blending our smoothie up. Um, and that blade does come with a guard. So if you're gonna put it off to the side while you use the whisk attachment, nobody hopefully will get cut on the blades as they are being stored someplace else. It comes with a little um, pouring shield. There's this little silicone kind of rubber gasket and you put it in. Um, it's more for adding things very, very slowly. So like if you were doing maybe making a homemade mayonnaise and you were dripping in oil or you're wanting to add it just a little tiny bit at a time, that's what this would be great for. Um, if you're going to add larger amounts of liquid, you just take the top off. And then it comes with this whisk attachment so you can cut or you can whisk. So think of this as kind of like a, a blender, a food processor, and a hand mixer all in one. You can do um, cakes, uh, mix pancakes. I've seen people do make ice cream, make whipped cream. I mean, it's just kind of an all-in-one gadget and it's super, 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 super easy to use. Um, if you mix it all up, like we're going to mix up a smoothie here today and you decide you know what i'm gonna take this out for a second you say you know what we're you know we're really we're not gonna eat we made ice cream or something we are i don't know we're not gonna eat it all it comes with a lid oh i'm sorry i've called them lids for years they are seals tupperware has seals uh lids are like on top of pans i have to get used to that now that i'm consultant i have to be uh technical um, so, and it has a pull string. So this is how it's powered. This is why it's not very heavy. And it is so easy, a small child can do it. I have a friend who runs a daycare, and she bought the smaller one. So you can get, um, you can get a, there's a smaller unit, right, that has the little blades for chopping which uh, in our house I originally bought to chop onions because, well, I don't like onions. <laughs> and, um, but she has her daycare kids pull it. It's so easy. You can buy this independently. You can buy the little one independently, or you can buy them as a group so you only have one piece like this, depending on how much storage room you have in your cupboards. So, Nick, I need you to help me. We are going to start with so we are starting with two cups of frozen fruit. Now this is Nick's special yeah. recipe. <coughs> yep, you can dump it right in. Yeah. All right. And then we are adding um, about a cup and a half of fresh fruit. This one. You got it? Yep. They're so small. They are small, I know. Yes. Here, the little ones are great for taking to work. Okay, so let's dump the fruit in there. So we got pineapple, we got blueberries, uh, fresh blueberries, fresh strawberries. Again, you make whatever you like, whatever your family likes. Go ahead and dump it in. Um, some people like yogurt, some people like orange juice. And then you always have to add a liquid. So we have right here, um, no, this is about a cup and a half of lemonade. This is a 10, I think it's a 10 and a half ounce tumbler. As you can see, it came out at Christmas time um, with, a, with a lid. Um, so go ahead and pour that in. So Nikki likes smoothies and we make them a lot in our big blender, but I don't let him use the big blender by himself. So this uh, machine came in my kit. I didn't own it beforehand, so it's fairly new for us, which is why we're making a smoothie. Can you make some short, small, easy pulls? 
Great. So if you're someone that gets tired easy um, or doesn't have a lot of arm strength or body strength, you really don't need it because it'll just take a little longer, and that's okay. So as you can see, it's all squishy up pretty good. When you, know, when, you know, when you get to the edge of the string, it takes a good giant bump on it. They don't go that far. We don't have to go that far. But you don't want to break it. You just want it to spin, right? Right. Okay, let's just stop for a second. So, I don't know how much you can actually see, um, but the pieces are fairly small. Did it get it as small as my blender that I spent a lot of money on? No. Did it get it small enough that um, he'll like it? Yeah. Um, actually, we forgot a spoon. Can you go get a spoon? Normally, I start with about a cup of water and I add to it. Um, and then these, uh, the frozen food has been sitting out for a little while, so I think there's some extra moisture content in here. Where's the spoon? It worked out pretty well yesterday. Um, and today it's a little, uh, it's a little thin. So we got to crunch it again. And I think we're gonna crunch it again too. You wanna put, no, 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 put it in the cup, please, with the straws. So as you can see, I'm kinda doing short little balls, right, where Nick was doing like big ones. Now to get a better smoothie consistency, I think at this point we'd have to add some more frozen fruit. Stop. Mm -hmm. um, I think our fruit had been sitting here a little too long and got a little too watery, but once you get me a glass, so we're just going to pour off Nick's smoothie. It is... All right. And generally, we then we freeze the rest of them for them for popsicles. Ooh. You want to take this back into the kitchen now? Awesome. Thanks for all of your help. Can you get a high five? Thank you. Hey. But smoothies are great because you can kind of take whatever you have for fresh fruit or whatever you have for frozen fruit and make it work.